All right, quickly, this is a, a uh, Motorola MC3330, and we're just going to show basically how the pieces go together. When you receive it, you'll find a battery, you'll find a reader, you'll find a power brick uh, with a couple cables. One is um, <clears throat> a cable like this that will have a clip connector. You'll find the end here, stick that in. And then the power cord itself goes in the back. Okay, your power brick is now done. And in the back of the dock, you'll find a micro USB and a power plug. So you put your power plug there. Right. And now we have a dock with a place for a battery. So here's a battery. You can put that in the back. Um, and then also when you do that you'll see there's a red or a light here indicating that you're charging that battery now you can also do the same thing with the battery here that goes in the in the unit you've got a kind of a sloping face that goes in that side click it down to release it there's a button on either side press them it pops out like that okay uh, how do you find out if it's TAA compliant? You'll look in here and see if it's made in China or made in Taiwan. Only the made in Taiwan ones are TAA compliant. All right, finally, <clears throat> set it in the dock and it will charge, okay? Whether it's on or um, whether the operating system is on or not, it'll charge. Now, uh, one last thing. There is on the back side of the dock, again, a micro USB slot, right? And you should receive a cable with a micro USB connector that can go to um, your computer and you can transfer files back and forth that way if you're loading files. But in a networked environment, if you're not able to use Wi-Fi for security reasons or whatever, uh, there is also in the kit that comes from ID integration, we include a um, micro USB to Ethernet adapter and you can put this in the back of the dock and now you have the ability to make a LAN connection to this device as opposed to just a Wi-Fi connection. So whatever your preference is, uh, if you do want to sync or communicate um, between this mobile device and your network uh, while you're walking around, it obviously has to be Wi-Fi. If you can't do that, uh, then you can dock it and as you dock it, uh, this LAN connection then will um, connect your hardware reader to your network under a cabled LAN environment. There is some configuration on the op operating system screen, uh, which we cover in a separate video.